Welcome back everybody. I'm Nora and you're watching Nori Lori's Keto and Health. And today I have got a different, very different type of video. I'm in my camper because I kind of been talking about how I'm going to be going camping and I am getting everything ready and organized and you can see some of my stash over there of stuff that I have for camping. We've not even done our major shopping. We're going to do that when we get to where we're going. But anyway, this is a come and get ready with me video. I'm going to be going over some things with you. Um, like how I plan this, what my game plan is while we're gone, and what kind of foods that I have out here, what I've brought from the house with me here. Um, and then like just briefly go over some of the restaurants you can go to, what kind of things you can order from them, um, just to make life a little bit easier when you're traveling and camping. In my case, glamping. So let's dive into this video. All right, so I'm just giving you an overview of my quick grabs here. And when I mean quick grabs, this is just things that while we're traveling tomorrow that I can eat on. And so they're pretty much staples in my household. So pepperoni, so important. I get these from Aldi's and they're 2 19 in my area. Um, here is another thing that I like to have. I like to consider it a splurge. It's not. It's zero calorie soda. This is the Aldi's knockoff of Zevia. Um, I love the cream soda and the cola is pretty good too. Um, I have not actually tried Chomps, but I have talked about Thomas Delore and they advertise being zero sugar right there. Um, they're Whole30. If you've watched any of mine, you know I started out with Whole30. Um, we'll save these for last. Supplements are for last. Okay. So macadamia nuts. I love them. They've got a really great nutritional profile. I have got some nut butters out here from Perfect Keto. What I don't have out here is my Perfect Keto collagen powder. I'll be bringing those out here too. And that'll be chocolate and salted caramel. And I got my pork rinds. I love to just add some pork rinds and some uh, of my pepperoni together and some macadamia nuts. It makes a really great um, protein based snack with the fats. Um, and it holds me over until I have a bigger meal. Okay, so <laughs> some of my sweets. I'm not a big snack eater. If I'm going to have something sweet, which I do like to have from time to time, I'm going to have it with my meal. But um, I love the hazelnut. It's really good. I tried the salted caramel and I didn't like it. It tasted like butter. Like I was eating pure butter. And in my fatter days, I was a big Reese's cup person. So both of these are uh, Reese's, like Reese's cup things. And that's my lilies. When I get uh, set up, we'll be getting some rubble ice cream because I have like my ice cream. These are my quick grabs from the house. These are the, some of the things that I really needed to have on my last vacation, like my barbecue sauce. Um, if I knew we were going for barbecue, I could have grabbed that. But my refrigerator is cold, so I'm going to be able to put these things in here. Um, we've got some string cheese. It's really great to just kind of hold you over. I love provolone. We'll probably be having some hamburgers, so I love to have some provolone cheese. This is my husband's cheese. I don't eat that stuff that's, let's see, two carbs. Yeah, two carbs per slice. Um, no, i much rather go for, uh, let's see here, zero carbs per slice. Um, so, all right, we already talked about my barbecue sauce. Now, I did bring some of my Parmesan cheese. There isn't a whole lot there. But if I wanted to have like a Greek salad, that would be a perfect addition. I also do not eat the uh, ketchup, even though it's organic. It's not sugar-free. But it does, you know, my husband eats that. What I do partake in is the mustard and my Duke's mayonnaise. Please don't judge me. Yes, it's got soybean oil in it, but there's no sugar in it. It's so good. But I don't eat mayonnaise very often. Now, my guilty pleasure, because I am a steak foodie, is A1 steak sauce. Um, I've seen and tasted some of the steak sauce, and they're just so runny. 
and I'm really partial to A1. I will just take those few little bit of carbs. I just need enough to taste it anyway. And you can see the bananas in the background. Those are not mine. Those are my husband's. Now, I said, let's talk about some supplements here, right? Um, I like Dr. Berg's supplement here. Yes, they're pricey, but it has D3 and K2. And it's got very nice levels of those. And I just not find a product out there that is able to replicate this. Like I can buy multiple products and put it together. And then I'm spending just the same amount that I spent on this, if not more. So that is one thing that I do like to get from Dr. Burke. Nutritional yeast. I'm hardcore. As my family will tell you, I do not sprinkle this on my food. I take a teaspoon. I dip it out of the container and I down it. Now, as you can see, there's three carbs minus two dietary. So there is one carb for one tablespoon. I don't count it into my carbs, not because I'm trying to be sneaky, but a lot of times I just forget to add it. And if I come in at 20 or less, it doesn't seem to affect me. I actually probably could do a glucose and ketone reading on that and see how it affects me. Those are great ideas. So this is just an overview of what I've got at the moment. Like I said, we're going to go shopping once we get set up in South Carolina. Um, next, I am going to put this stuff up and I'm going to kind of let you look at my cabinets or cupboards, whatever you call them, and see what we do have. You're going to see a lot of food that is not keto because my husband's not keto. So let's get into this and then we're going to go over some really cool information. cabinets of my camper. I am so glad to actually have somewhat of a pantry in this camper because some trailers and fifth wheels do not have a lot of pantry unless they're like really big. So my top one is kind of like an overflow. Um, this is du duplicates of stuff. Down here I've got, well right now you can only see my pepperoni, but, oh sorry. Right. Uh, I got my husband's chips. Here's my pork rinds. I've got some of my perfect keto. Uh, never mind his pastry stuff. And my macadamia nuts. And then down here is just a few things of mine. Um, yeah, my chocolate goodies. But he's got all kinds of stuff back here. And of course, there's canned goods too. Um, in case we ever got where we couldn't get out or whatever there's beans and soups and stews and oh yeah some hot dog chili too that's kind of just a, a basic overview of my pantry and of course right now there's really not a whole lot going on in my refrigerator but um i do like to put some of this stuff into my compartments um because unfortunately Going down the road, this camper is going to bounce like none other. So, and some of that's glass, and I don't want it to crap the plastic in my in my refrigerator or potentially break and have to have a big mess to clean up. So, um, you see, I'm still organizing things. So, let's talk about the planning process because not only is this just a keto video, it is also about how to plan keto, why camping, glamping, traveling, things like that. So let's get into that. So let's have a chit chat. Um, you seen my basically snack foods and sweets that I'll have with meals. Um, they're my go-tos. They're what I have in the house most of the time. And most of the time, I don't even touch the stuff, but I'm camping and I'm going to be a little more lenient. Um, I tend to graze a little bit more. That's probably why I add some water weight, to be honest with you. But anyway, one of the very important things to talk about is planning. I plan this stuff. I'm in a camper. I can pull off the side of the road and I can eat whenever I want to. So 
I make sure that I have easy foods that I don't have to cook, warm up. I can just grab, eat, and we can go. So I have a list that I bring from the house. Um, I had a list for the foods that I wanted to pick up from the store. So, and I still got to bring some stuff in here. Then when we get to where we're going, I have my shopping list. It is a running list. Uh, it's not complete because I don't know how much we're going to be eating out and where we'll be eating and what we're doing. We'll probably be planning that as we're driving down. We come up with a very loose plan. We know where we're going. We know a few of the things that we want to do. And then we fill in the gaps as we go. That's why I'm bringing things like barbecue sauce because I didn't have it last time and we went to have barbecue. And pulled pork is good. It would have been much better with my barbecue sauce because then I went and got munching, right? So planning is essential. So some of the things you need to think about. How long are you going to be on the road? Depends on if you just snack or you have to get meals. Are you going to be able to stop and be able to cook a meal like I can at night? Are you going to have to do fast food? What kind of fast food options do you want? And we're going to get into that. Do you have room in your vehicle to bring snack foods in a cooler? If you don't, then you got to have plan B, which we're going to go over. Where are you staying? Like, are you going to be camping? If so, then that's not a big deal. Um, you'll be able to cook for you, for yourself. If you're going to a hotel, obviously that's probably not going to be an option. So and if you're going to a friend's house or a family or whatever, they're probably going to feed you or they're going to want to go out to eat or something like that. So you got to have those kind of ideas in your mind already for your game plan so that you can stay on track on keto. So let's say you're traveling and you do not have room to bring snack foods or a cooler because you got all the kids and all that good stuff. And there's just not extra room because, you know, I travel with four kids and in a lot of room. Convenience stores are really good options. You can pick up your pork rinds there. You just got to watch your pork rinds. Most of the, the ones that are offered there are going to have the not so nice sugars in them. If you eat them naturally and they don't bother you, fine, do it. Um, but plain, always plain works really well for you. They have all kinds of beef jerky. A lot of them are starting to get like the chomps and the sticks and stuff like that. Um, so those are good ideas. Um, they offer Quest or I've seen keto bars in some convenience stores. I didn't get a chance to check it out. But depending on where you're at, that could be an option for you. But Quest bars and Quest cookies, um, those are always an option. A lot of places are starting to offer boiled eggs, um, salads. Uh, sometimes you might just want need to do some lunch meat and some cheese slices and roll them up and go. So there is a few options. I have actually thought about doing a video on what's available in convenience stores that is keto. And if you think that might help, just comment down below and I can start doing that research and get that video out for you. I don't normally go into a lot of convenience stores unless I don't have to. But I know they're out there because I do a lot of traveling, and that's when I usually hit them. So the next thing is, if you're going to be on the road like we are, I already know that our Friday, I'm going to be breaking my fast here, and then we're going to go and hit some a restaurant of some kind. Maybe fast food, might be a sit-down restaurant. Just depends on when we leave. So that means when my husband gets off and work, how late it is, those type of um, variables. So. Let's just start out with fast food, okay? This day and age, the great thing is we can look at the menus of places that you might want to go. And before you go, this might be something you want to do in your planning stage is actually look at some of the most common um, fast foods that you go to and start looking at the menus and seeing what you can do. If you're going to any hamburger place, so we're talking McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Hardee's, Carl Jr., and I'm sure there's a lot more that I'm not even thinking about, and there's different restaurants on the West Coast than the East Coast, more likely you can tell them low carb, just the burger, the cheese, maybe a little lettuce if you want it. If you want to add a tomato, you can. Um, 
they'll give you a fork, they put it in a bowl or a boat as some of them call, and you are good to go. Just remember American cheese, like I showed you, is two carbs per slice, and that is what most of these places use. And when you go and put it in a macro tracker, that is generally where the carbs are coming from. It's the cheese. Okay. So other things that you can do is you can go to Zaxby's or, um, and get a salad. They don't think they offer any grilled chicken. You know, I really need to check that menu, but you can get grilled chicken salads and I like their Zaxby's, um, salad and the Cobb salad because, you know, it comes with the eggs and the bacon and all the goodies. What I do is I don't have them put on the fried onions because one is fried. I don't know what's fried in and that's just extra carbs. Uh, this is where it also comes in handy that you may want to bring your own dressing because then you have control over what carbs are going in from your dressing. So those are good options. Uh, Chick-fil-A, if you have it, is a really good option. They have grilled chicken that you can get. They have grilled chicken nuggets and I love their grilled cob salad. The down point of that is I have to tell them no roasted corn, but, and then I get the grilled chicken nuggets. Um, and I like the ranch dressing, so I just get it. You just got to figure in that you may have to add some of these things in. So this is where the planning comes from. Now, sit down restaurants. Uh, that could be anywhere from a steakhouse to Denny's, Perkins, um, Cracker Barrels, and I, I'm on the spot. I can't think of a lot of it. You still can download or check their menus and see what you can have. Generally, if they offer a grilled meat and steamable vegetables, you're going to be good to go. Um, and I'll just give you some examples because if the vegetables are not steamed, there's a possibility that they put sugar into it. If you're willing to take the chance then do it. I mean, it's your, your trip, your vacation and do it. Do you? But for me, I like going to Cracker Barrel and I like going to steakhouses. Yeah, they're, they're, they're expensive, but I know I'm very legal at those places. So Cracker Barrel, you can have breakfast any time of the day. So I like to get the Uncle Herschel's breakfast. I get the eight ounce hamburger steak and then I don't get any of the other stuff. I tell them I want to substitute that stuff with double broccoli because it's steamed broccoli and I can have that. And a lot of places have got this really yummy butter. And I don't know if there's any bad stuff in it. it hasn't seemed to affect me yet. So I think it's pretty good. Um, other things that you can have is they've got chef salads. They've got just like the, the regular salad. Um, so those are good choices. They've got grilled pork chops. They have grilled chicken. Um, you're just going to have to read it. Now, if you do get a salad, you just got to tell them no croutons because if you're like me and you forget to tell them no croutons, you're probably going to eat the croutons, right? I do. And if you got more strength, yay, good for you. <laughs> I don't. So um, that's just some things to think about in places like that. Now, when I go to a steakhouse, obviously I'm having the steak. Again, I'm having broccoli. I like broccoli. But if you don't like broccoli, you may have to have some of the other vegetables that they offer. And of course, if they ever offer fresh vegetables, go for it. Um, so obviously, you're just going to want to leave those starchy stuff alone. No potatoes, sweet potatoes, fry, um, french fries, mac and cheese. And those are the best tasting. But anyway, you want to leave those things alone. These are just giving you some ideas because I don't want to run this video up really late. This is just come and get ready with me. You see what I'm getting into. You see me doing my cabinets. You see the planning process. And I'm trying to help you plan this so that you can be successful and stay on keto. Um, wish me luck on this trip. I'm weighing in on this trip. So I got to, you know scale. I got, oh, I've got to get my food scale too. Things I got to do. Food scale. Scale. Those are important if I'm going to be doing the keto way. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some good information. 
I was really, really vague because to get into any great detail, this would have been like an hour long video and who has time for that? So thank you for coming and watching with me, watching me get prepared, looking at some of the things that I do on the norm and some of the things that I do to get ready and uh, see you next time. Thank you.